Throughout all the years that I've been making music, if you get on a tour bus with a bunch of musicians, eventually the conversation will go to Sparks. I remember just seeing them all the time, like, who are those guys? They are a band who you can look up on Wikipedia and know nothing. We are Sparks. Dude. Please welcome Sparks. Sparks. Frequently asked questions about Sparks. How many albums are there? 25 albums. Are you brothers? We are brothers. How did you first meet? We are brothers. Music at its best, you hear it and you go, oh my God, what is that? It's insane, but it's fantastic. Each time you'd go to the rehearsal, there'd be something new there. Like, that's good. It wasn't like anything else. All pop music is rearranged sparks. That's the truth. There are throwaway riffs that other bands have built whole careers out of. One of my favorite moments is John Lennon ringing up Ringo Starr. You won't believe what's on the television. It was the sound of the future. Sparks is way more prolific than all of the artists we consider to be the greatest in the world. They sort of set a template. That a Beatle would pretend to be Ron. That's amazing. They were taking all their creative juices and putting it into something that they loved. They were a bit much for most people. The culture just wasn't there yet. Is there anybody out there at all right now? They've reinvented themselves several times. The thing that marked them was their unwillingness to give up. That sounds like the scene from our biopic. <laughs> our time has come. Here we are. They may have given birth to other bands who don't even know that the lineage goes back to them. Still are waiting to get paid back for that. Why have you resisted doing a documentary until now? We didn't want to do the standard documentary full of talking heads. It would become too dry. 